Thank you for joining us for this quick overview of our e-file cabinet very basic professional package. I'm going to go over today some of the very uh, basics of our software to give you a feel for what we can do for your company to help streamline your process and help you to go paperless. Uh, first of all, to start out, I'd just like to talk real quick about our company. We've been around about 12 years, so we are one of the pioneers for uh, uh, doing uh, paperless software document management programs for small to mid-size companies. As you can imagine, being that many years in the business, we now have a full-on uh, dedicated team to helping you as you uh, go through the process of going paperless. Um, their expertise are an enormous asset to our company and to your uh, moving over to the paperless document management system. We also uh, have a, a team of uh, research and development that are constantly developing and improving our product, making it run better, making it more efficient, and taking the comments from our users uh, which, by the way, we uh, have more than 70,000 users worldwide right now. So uh, we are a good, solid company to work with, um, with a lot of experience that can help you to move forward. And I, my name is Lamont Wilcox, and I am one of our one of the consultants here, and would love to spend some time consulting and speaking specifically about your needs and the things that could help you to move forward in going paperless and. Uh, saving money, streamlining your process, and really, uh, I like to tell I like to tell people that this is actually our time machine. It doesn't move you forward and backwards in time. It just creates time. Uh, it creates enormous amounts of time for those who are using this this paperless software, and you'll see that as we move forward talking about uh, this program. So let's quickly go into our uh, to check out the format and the layout of our program. It's very simple. Uh, one of the focuses that we had is that we would uh, we wanted to make this program to be really easy to move over to using this program from your average computer program. So Microsoft and Windows being the biggest program, we, we have uh, f created a look and feel like Microsoft. There's uh, a lot of right clicking um, and simple setup and we are also integrated with the Microsoft products which I'll show you a little bit later. To make the move to paperless, we tried to make it as simple and easy as possible. We recommend that if your uh, paper system is working with file cabinets, drawers, and folders, we, we can replicate those in our, in our program. And so we've created icons that look very similar to what you're now using. So we have a uh, file cabinet and then we have a drawer. And I'll show you a little bit of a, a quicker look at what that is. So we've got the file cabinet, the drawers, the folders, the subfolders, and then of course the documents themselves. So as you navigate through here, you can think of it just like your file cabinets and you can even label it the same. So you can go in and, and label uh, each individual drawer and then you can each, I mean, in individual cabinet, and then you can do the drawers, and then of course the files. You can create them just like you did before, um, uh, but with the added benefits of having limited use, accessibility, safety with the encryption, and so forth. So to start out, what we do is uh, we create uh, a look and feel that you are used to. And one of the big features that we've uh, created in our program is the ability for you to create templates so that when you have uh, repetitive documents that go to the same people, you can uh, create a template that will allow you to bring those in to the place that you want them to be quickly and easily. This can save enormous amounts of time. So you can see here that if you go ahead and open up a drawer, you can have that drawer here and it will list all the files within that drawer. Now, what we've created is the ability to make a template. So you can make a, temp, a predefined template and apply those to all of the names. For example, if you have uh, different years worth of documents that you would like to uh, keep organized in that same direction. You can create this template and it will do replicate that template in each of the f 
drawers that you have. And that's quick and easy. You can hit apply template or you can actually just right click. You right click on that and put apply template. And if you don't have any active templates, they won't be there. But if you create, you can quickly and easily create a template by clicking on new and then you can click the add button. You can go ahead and add a folder and you can name that folder whatever it is that you'd like to. You can also add subfolders by clicking there again and you can also add documents and create the folder that you want and then go ahead and click save and that will bring in uh, documents that you can then select and apply to all of those. You can mass apply them to all the names that you would like so that they're already in there ready to go. You can also create predefined names of the actual document so that you don't have to print in a name every time you bring in that document. So now you're ready to get started and, and bring in your information of your current and existing uh, uh, clients or members. So those uh, those files will be, uh, or that information will be saved on some files somewhere that you could possibly convert to a CSV, or if you have lists in a Word document or a, a Microsoft document, those can all be mass imported. So you can go to the utility tabs the first time you're setting things up and you can import files. And of course our uh, team would be very helpful in helping you in that process, but it's very quick and easy you can import from a CSV, you can click on that and it will bring up uh, the different fields that you might have on that CSV file. You can make those required uh, so that the file has to have those in um, or, or you don't have to. They will bring in to create a profile so that you then have a searchable profile for that client. And then as you bring in those uh, documents to the predefined names, you will be able to quickly and easily find your files because that is the key is to be able to easily find the files once you bring them into the program. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and go back to this home tab, which again is the tab that most of the users will be using most of the time and show you the different ways to bring your files in. Now that you've got uh, predefined names for your documents, you've got all of your uh, clients names brought in or whatever uh, file names and drawer names they're all set up ready to go now you can start bringing in files there's multiple ways to do that and the nice thing about our program is that it is not proprietary meaning that you will be able to bring in files of any type the our program will encrypt those files and bring them into the program so they will not be accessible by others and they will be safe and uh, uh, they will bring them in an encrypted way but also in their original format so that you can bring those files right back out into the program that created them and alter and change and use them however you like that is one of the nice another nice benefit to our program is that it is not proprietary and if you ever need to get those files out and move them onto something else you can go ahead and do that so the, one of the quick ways of doing that is by clicking the store button so you can click on that store button and it will bring up the files that you have uh, on your windows so you can go ahead and double click on that and it will go ahead and bring them up you can then select where you want to put that file and which folder or subfolder and then you can, it'll have a document name. You can change that at this time. If you have your predefined names uh, already put in, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and select the predefined name. You also can select profile information that will be later searchable. So you can easily find that. And then you, you click save and it saves that into that file. And you can now see that file still in the Word uh, document is is uh, now in there now if you're using Microsoft products uh, this is even easier so any of the Microsoft software is also uh, integrated with our software so this is really cool so you can go up you can pull up a Word document Excel document whatever type of document that uh, Microsoft does and you'll you'll have the send to e-file cabinet button you can go ahead and click on that button and it'll again bring up that window that uh, brings you right into e-file cabinet again selecting the document name predefined names and profile that you can search later on and you can hit save and that will save that right into e-file cabinet. 
So then you can see now I've got both documents there and they're still showing in their original format. There's your preview. Um, uh, once, the, once you have a document in eFile Cabinet, uh, there are a few things that you can do. You can add comments to that that are also searchable. So you can have comments to go along with each of your files of whatever type. You can also add security to it. So you can decide who it is that will be allowed to view, open, edit, delete uh, those files from all of the users that you have uh, on your software. Another note about users is that you have an unlimited amount of users in the program and the limitations are based on your licenses and how many of those users can be logged on at the same time. Okay, now I'm going to quickly show you how to scan in your documents. It's very simple. If you have a Twain scanner, that is connected and you will simply go up to the scan button and you'll click on that and that will bring up this uh, scan software related directly that brings uh, files and documents directly into our software. You simply hit the scan button after you've stacked up your uh, documents all into to, to that scanner and then it will quickly bring those directly into our scan software and will bring up a image that you can then see. Very important to have an image there so that you can make sure not only that it's uh, that legible but, but that it's, it's right side up and that you put it in with the, the correct information in the correct way. Then you can quickly see those documents and select what you want to do, uh, which ones you want to put where and you can easily click there, hit the store button that will bring those documents directly into eFile Cabinet and you can see now that in eFile Cabinet, you've got the same kind of storage options as you had before. Select a destination. You can punch in a document name. You can select from a predefined name, and you can put a profile with that. You can do those one at a time, or you can do those in groups. You can also scan in batches. If you have batches of four or batches of 10, you can scan those in in batches so that they come in and the document is all under one batch. Then you can go ahead and click Save, and that will bring that in after you've given it a name, of course. <laughs> and you can click Save there, and then clear the pages, and that will bring it right in. And there's my document that I just saved, and, uh, and it will also bring in a preview here. Again, you can select your permissions and choose who it is that you want to be able to see that. You can click view to get a pro to get a preview of that and you can make sure it's in the right place. Another great feature with eFile Cabinet is the ability to take from any program uh, a file and make make a document out of any program that you like, any program that can print. So for example, eFile, if you, I'm just gonna use the Chrome web browser and the ability to print from there. I can click on print from this program and, and any other program. I can select eFile Cabinet as my desti destination printer. So I've selected that already here and uh, and so it says eFile Cabinet here. And when I go ahead and hit print, you can see that it immediately brings it up in eFile Cabinet. So there it is. I can then select where it's going as previously, I give it a name, select a predefined document, and give it those uh, details that I would like to be able to use to find it when I'm searching. And then I can click Save, and that will, that will save once I find a folder to put it in. I can go ahead and click Save and give it a document name. And I'll, doc I'll call this Scanners. And I can hit Save there, and it saves it right in. And there's Scanners. There's the document. Easy to see and to use. So now we've talked about the different ways to bring all of these documents in, how to organize them, how to quickly and easily uh, have those put in in a nice organized way over here with 
cabinets, drawers, and files, and with predefined document names and file names and so forth. Now, uh, now that they're here, one of the very most powerful tools is the ability to search. We have a very strong search engine. It searches similar to Google. You can do partial word searches. You can use letters and numbers. And uh, in this case, I could search for all of the tax documents or things that are related to tax. And there's a lot of them in this case. Uh, and so then I could narrow it down a little bit. And I don't have to use the whole name. I'm looking for Johnny Appleseed. So I put in J-O-H and I don't see a Johnny Appleseed there. But I can go ahead, try adding more to that. And if there were some here, it would bring it up and I would be able to find that really quick and easily in our search engine. So our searching is going throughout all of the profiles, all of the digital documents, all of the files and folder names, and it's finding all of those. So that is a quick and easy tool to find your documents. That is one of the big deals about having a document management system is quickly and easily finding those. Now, it, when you're doing searches, it, it will be related to your user setup so that if you are a user, you will only be able to search within the documents that you are set up to see. If there are, for example, HR cabinets that are not related to your position in the company, then you would set those up so that, they, that people would not be able to access or see those at all. Rather, they're, they're browsing over here or they're searching within our search engine. So that is our basic layout and benefits of using eFile Cabinet. Um, I want to show you one more nice little tool that you can use if you are someone who is possibly presenting this or if you are the business owner and would like to see what your return on investment is. If you go to our website at eFileCabinet.com, you can, uh, you'll be able to see our return on investment calculator. You can go ahead and click on that and that will bring up an active uh, return on investment calculator that you can go ahead and punch in the numbers that you, uh, that you could guesstimate how many employees might be using the software, how many paid hours, a, how many they're getting paid, how many hours a day that it would save to have this software, and you can put in how many hours uh, or, or I'm sorry, uh, dollars per hour that they would get paid on average, and you can punch that in. You can go ahead and select the other information here, uh, but just so you know, this calculator's here, uh, and you can go ahead and, of course, your uh, e-file cabinet cost will vary depending on the package. This is uh, quite a bit more than our professional package, but you can go ahead and see how many months your return on investment could be um, with your own personal data. That is a very useful tool. And uh, I appreciate you spending some time today uh, uh, taking a look at our software. And I'm confident that this software will bring in the, the savings that, that you hope and more. As you learn the features and you uh, talk to us, I would be happy to have a consultation with you where we can go over uh, more features and more ways that this program can save you money. Uh, there are many more uh, things that it can do that will uh, bring in and be the time machine that I spoke of earlier of saving you money. Again, my name is Lamont Wilcox. I'd be happy to hear from you. My uh, direct line is right here at eFile Cabinet. My email address is right here. And uh, I'd be happy to hear from you. And, and thanks for taking the time to listen listening to me today. And just a personal note, uh, I uh, want to tell you that I've uh, worked for this company for a small amount of time now, but I'm very impressed with the people that I work with. Uh, I'm very excited to be here and excited to work with, with these people. They're very uh, considerate and knowledgeable. Uh, they themselves are very concerned about streamlining and making their processes better and they understand your situation. And appreciate again your time and thanks for joining us. Have a great day.